Class C or Charlie airspace also surrounds airports and it's generally from the surface to 4,000 feet MSL. These are airports that have an operational control tower, are serviced by a radar approach control, and have a certain number of instrument flight rules or IFR operations or passenger employments. You can tell an airport is Charlie class airspace because it's depicted surrounded by solid magenta lines. Each class Charlie area is individually tailored. However, it's usually surface area with a 5 nautical mile radius, an outer circle with a 10 nautical mile radius that extends from 1,200 feet to 4,000 feet above the airport elevation. These altitudes are shown in MSL. This is Valley International Airport, HRL. Notice the space boundaries. 40 over 13 at the bottom means a floor of 1,300 feet and a ceiling of 4,000 feet. Notice the other boundaries, 40 over 15 here, meaning the floor of the Charlie airspace is 1,500 feet. You can also see the tower frequency in the chart. Class D, or Delta airspace, is generally airspace from the surface to 2,500 feet above the airport elevation. This is charted in MSL. Class Delta surrounds airports that have an operational control tower. The configuration of each Class Delta airspace area is individually tailored, and when instrument procedures are published, the airspace is normally designed to contain the procedures. Here's Waco Regional Airport, or ACT. Notice the blue dashed lines that surround the airport. This denotes Class Delta. You can also see the airport information and of course the tower frequency in the chart and you can see the ceiling of the airspace. In this case it goes from the surface to 3,000 feet MSL. If you're taking the test and you forget what a symbol in the chart means, simply look at the legend to figure it out. The test legend is usually located at the beginning of the book with the figures for taking the test.